Hi all, so today we're going to talk about Iridium and Iridium is really a case study on a failure of a corporate innovation project. So uh, Iridium uh, had a lot of money involved, about $5 billion was invested and this is very fascinating because these, these were all smart people, these were all rational people. So how could it get to this point uh, of this size of a failure. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, first of all, uh, Iridium was a satellite phone company. It ha uh, it, the name came from that. It cal they calculated that about 77 satellites would be necessary uh, to orbit the Earth to get full coverage of all places of the Earth. So that was really what their value proposition was about. Even if you're on in the middle of the ocean, even if you're on the Mount Everest, you still get coverage with this phone. That was what their value proposition was about. And 77 is the number of the chemical element uh, that has 77 electrons uh, orbiting it as well. Now, afterwards, they found out that not 77, but 66 satellites would be necessary in order to achieve that full coverage. But the name still remained Iridium. So this was a startup, uh, a corporate startup in the late 1980s, early 1990s. It had an initial public offering in 1997 and it went bankrupt in 1999, just uh, a few months relatively uh, uh, after its launch. So five billion dollars were invested and the largest investor involved was Motorola. So this was a very big innovation project for Motorola, uh, which at that point in time was a really big cell phone producing company. So where did it go wrong? Well, in 1992, when the project launched, uh, not the satellites, just the project, there were only 300,000 cell phones around. Now these cell phones were really in an early stage. So not many people had one, and also they had a lot of problems with the coverage and also with roaming when people went abroad. It was just not an ideal situation for people who like to be connected. So um, now this Iridium company would solve all those problems. So people would, ha would have uh, full coverage wherever they were on our Earth, whether it would be on the South Pole or it would be uh, in the middle of the desert or the middle of the ocean, people would have coverage assured. Um, now, of course, this came with a price tag because they needed to launch 66 satellites into space. Uh, and the initial retail price for the Iridium phone would be uh, $3,295 in the United States and also $7 per minute. So this would be the cost uh, of the satellite phones. Now, when the satellites were launched in 1997, actually the amount of cell phones has had become much larger and also most problems connected to cell phones had been resolved. People were able to use their cell phone abroad. There were, was a lot more coverage. Uh, even though the service was not as good as Iridium, people were not willing to pay the price of 3,000, over 3,000 3, US dollars and $7 per minute for the Iridium phone. and. Uh, premium uh, coverage and premium service. So most people wouldn't be willing to do that. Just some people uh, uh, like companies who had people in the middle of the desert or the middle of the ocean, those were companies that were actually the customers of Iridium and the rest of the people would just use cell phones. So subscriptions actually never uh, got over a peak of 30,000, and this was not enough to cover all the cost of Iridium. Now, if you notice their value proposition of connecting anything and anyone was really quite heavy. It was quite something. Uh, they really wanted to be the Rolls Royce of communications, of satellite communications. So they wanted a premium service to anywhere and users were just not enough. Um, there were not enough users willing to pay the price for this in order to make it work. 
Now there was marketing flaws also because it was too much focused, their marketing was too much focused on oil and gas companies, assuming that oil and gas companies would have uh, people in projects that were really quite remote, but also there would be a lot of other companies and just inhabitants of really remote areas who were also willing to actually pay that price and they never really got to market it to that market as well. So um, Iridium went, went bankrupt in 1999. Motorola wrote off three and a half billion dollars on its investments and 12 years of building and 20 million lines of computer code were involved in this project. Now, after their bankruptcy, actually, their satellite system uh, was sold off and they had a restart, actually, of the project. And it's still working on a very limited, on a more limited uh, scale with a more limited market. Now, what can we learn from this Iridium case? First, watch your pr value proposition. Do take into account what you promise to your market segment and also uh, the cost that it would take to get to your value proposition. If you make that promise, then you have to keep it to, to your market, to your customer segment, and then you also need to make the investment. So you really need to take into account what am I promising and how big is my market going to be and what kind of value am I going to provide for them and what, what are, will they be willing to pay for it. Now also watch large investments and long and little dynamic innovation processes, launching processes. So this was a really long project. They needed to launch all these satellites into space, literally in order to get, get it to work and I needed to launch 66 of them. Each of them cost $62 million and their value proposition wouldn't be working until they had launched this whole network and set up this whole network and actually uh, completed the whole, the whole process. So do take into account what kind of investment, how large is my investment going to be and when I'm, am I going to be able to check with my market actually if this is working. Now, never let IT people decide how good the technology needs to be because IT people usually want to get like very good technology, at least in this case that really happened. They had uh, premium technology, they had a very good qualities of service generally and um, that created also the high cost, the high standard of, of value proposition. And you need strategic people actually to balance it out with the market that would be willing to pay for it. And keep checking out evolving technologies, competitors, and also substitutes for whatever you're, you're offering. So your uh, service or your product. That way you keep in touch with, with what's happening in the market, you keep in touch with the trends that are occurring in the market, and that way you will be able to shift if necessary. And if it's if it's not possible to shift, shift, maybe break the project off on time to save a little bit more than was the case with, with Iridium. So if you like this video, if you like this case study, then please subscribe to the Playground for Entrepreneurs and more content will come your way.